Hi everyone, happy Labor Day. I hope you're enjoying your long weekend. Um, I've always been obsessed with school supplies. Obviously I've been out of school for a while, but um, I've, my favorite part of going back to school is always buying school supplies. And so yesterday I got a little crafty and I wanted to show you what I made. Um, I got the ideas from this book, Hello Kitty's Yearbook. Um, it was published in 2003. I grew up reading this book. I absolutely love it. It's one of my, it was one of my favorites as a kid. Um, this is not my original copy though. Um, this one I got a few months ago on Amazon, but, um, basically this book, it has, uh, ideas for every month of the year. It runs from September to August. Um, this is my original copy. Yeah. It's been very well loved. Um, we've got duct tape on the side here. It has pages cut out of it. So it was time to get an updated copy, but for the set, each month had about three or four pages of activities for each month. It has, here, I'll show you what September's looks like. It varies by month, but each of them, they have where you can write any birthdays of people, you know, any, I mean, some holidays and then any additional ones that you were able to find out about. And the next page it has a few back to school craft ideas. Um, these were all for a binder or notebook, and I'm sure you could do it for a folder too. And there is also an extra craft in here too, and I'll show you what I did with that one in a minute. So I'm going to read you the ideas, and then I'm going to show you what I the finished product of my crafts that I did. And I'm going to tell you what I use and maybe show you a few things that I use for some of them. All right, first one. Make a collage. Paste photos of you and your friends or other pictures that you like on your notebook or binder. All right, so this red notebook I took and I cut a few pictures off from my old copy of the Hello Kitty yearbook. Um, Hello Kitty and your friends. This I got from... Um, lip balm that I wanted to give away this came with it we got some food there and I just all I need if all you really need for this is scissors glue and then whatever pictures that you want to cut out or you use tape too of course make sunflowers dip a pencil eraser in brown paint use it to stamp a circle to be the center of the flower then use yellow paint to stamp petals around the center be sure to wipe off the paint or use a different eraser in changing colors Okay, so this probably wasn't the best color to use for this, but the Dollar General was limited in the colors I had. So it's a blue notebook, obviously. And I used the same pencil for these. Like the book suggested, I did the brown petals first, or the brown center first, and cleaned it with a cloth. And then I did the yellow petals. It's turned out pretty cute still. Add stickers or glitter. And this book does come with stickers, and you're going to see why I say that in a minute. This is an easy way to make your binder or notebook glamorous. You can even use Hello Kitty stickers from this book. So this book does come with four sheets of stickers. Um, this one has three now because I did use one. So I took this green notebook, and I put Hello Kitty stickers on it. Some of these are obviously not Hello Kitty, like this one, this one, and that one. Those came with the lip balm that I wanted to give away recently. Do you guys ever do that thing where each school subject had a different color? It's open to interpretation, but for me, red was always English, blue was math, green was science, and yellow was history or social studies, and after that, it didn't matter to me. <laughs> okay, so the last notebook idea here is get an original with origin bleh, get noticed with original book covers. Cover your school books with brown paper. You can either use the roll kind or paper bags and decorate them too. So I guess this was a big thing in the 90s, maybe 2000s. I mean, I never did it. I didn't really hear about it. Knew anyone, know anyone that did it. So I use this brown paper I got on Amazon. It's a, big, it's a roll. And I use some markers to decorate. Now this wasn't originally a yellow notebook which would have been my history notebook in, if I were used in school. <laughs> so we got the outside scenery there and then this random scribbles. And the last idea is jazz up your hairdo. 
Glue old buttons or ribbons on a barrette to make a new back to school accessory. I want to show you what I did. I've had this hair clip for years or barrette. I took stick or I took buttons from one of my dad's old shirts, RIP dad, and jazzed this up. Isn't it cute? I'm going to wear it tomorrow. All right. You want to hear some fun facts in this book? Okay, fun facts. He's a friend of Hello Kitty. While your classmates with these September these fun September facts. Russians lost the first rocket to the moon on September 12, 1959. The world's average school year is 200 days. In the United States, it is 180. In Sweden, it's 170, and in Japan, 243. That, that's a long year. September is National Chicken Month. Hmm. The first ice cream cone was made, served, and eaten in New York City on September 22, 1886. September 16th is National Students Day. 60 is my favorite number. So this is a really fun book, and I've absolutely loved it since I was a kid. I'm going to make it a point to go through all these ideas in this book, or at least do as many as I can. These crafts are really fun. I highly recommend doing them. They're so easy. I'm so glad I got another copy of the book. And, yeah. Comment and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I know it was a really short video, but I just, I did a thing last night and I had so much fun and I wanted to make, I had the idea to make the video about it. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.